And I, I just think the data engine side of that, so getting the data to learn all of the concepts that you're saying now is an incredible process. It's this iterative process of just, it's this this hydronet of many- Hydronet. Yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> we're changing the name to something else. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm sure it'd be uh, equally as yeah. Rick and Morty-like. There's okay. a lot of, there's, yeah. <laughs> we, we've re-architected the, the neural net, uh, the neural nets in the cars so many times, it's crazy. Oh, so every time there's a new major version, you'll rename it to something more ridiculous or uh, or memorable and beautiful. Sorry, not ridiculous, of course. If you, if you see the full the full like uh, array of neural nets that 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 are operating in the car, it's, it kind of boggles the mind. There's so it, yeah. there's so many layers; it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, um, but and, and we 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 started off with. Uh, Simple neural nets that were uh, basically I image recognition on a single frame from a single camera, uh, and then uh, trying to knit those together with, you know, it with uh, C. Uh, I should say we, we we're really primarily running C here because C plus plus is uh, too much overhead, and we have our own C compiler. So to get maximum performance, we actually. Wrote, wrote our own C compiler and are continuing to optimize our C compiler uh, for uh, maximum efficiency. In fact, we've just recently uh, done a new rev on, on, our, on our C compiler that will compile directly to our autopilot hardware. Um, so you want to compile the whole thing down and with your own compiler? Yeah. Like So efficiency absolutely. here, because there's all kinds of compute. There's CPU, GPU, there's like the yeah. ASIC type of thing. That's, and you have to somehow figure out the scheduling across all of those things. And so you're compiling the code down yeah. that does all, okay. This is, so that's why there's a lot of people involved. <laughs> there's, of, there's a lot of hardcore uh, software engineering at yeah. a very sort of bare metal level. Because uh, you, you, we're trying to do a lot of compute uh, that's constrained to the, you know, our full self-driving computer. So, and we, we want to try to have the highest frames per second um, possible um, with, with, in a sort of very, very finite amount of compute. Um, and power. So um, we really put a lot of effort into the efficiency of our compute. Um, and and uh, so there's actually a lot of work done by some very talented software engineers at Tesla that uh, at, at, a, at a very foundational level to improve the efficiency of compute and how we use the, the, the trip accelerators, uh, which are basically, um, you know, uh, Doing matrix math dot, dot products uh, like a bazillion dot products, and, and, and it's like what 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 are neural nets? It's like compute wise, like ninety nine percent dot products. <laughs> so you know, um, and you want to achieve as many high frame rates like a video game. You want yeah, full, full resolution, frame, high frame rate, high frame rate, low latency, um, low jitter. Uh, so. Um, I think one of the things we're um, moving towards now is no post-processing of the image through the um, uh, the image signal processor. So, um, like for, for what happens for cameras is that well, almost all cameras is they um, th there's a lot of post-processing done in order to make pictures look pretty. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we don't care about pictures looking pretty. Um, we, we we just want the data. We, we, so we're we're moving to just raw, raw photon counts. So the system will, like the image that 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 the computer sees is actually much more than what you'd see if you represented it on a camera. Wow. It's got much more data, uh, and even in very low light conditions, you can see that there's a small photon count difference between, you know, this spot here and that spot there, which means that. So it, it can see in the dark incredibly well um, because it can detect these tiny differences in photon counts. That's like, like much better than you would possibly imagine. Um, so, and, and then we also save uh, 13 milliseconds on a latency. Uh, so- um, From removing the post-processing in the image? Yes. Yeah. It's like, because um, we've got you know eight cameras and, and then there's, uh, Roughly, I don't know, one and a half milliseconds or so, maybe one point six milliseconds of latency um, 
for each camera and, and so it, like uh, um going to just uh it, it basically bypassing the uh, image processor uh gets us back 13 milliseconds of latency which is important um and, and we track latency all the way from you know photon hits the the camera to you know all the steps that it's got to go through to get you know, go through the um the, the various neural nets and the the c code and uh, the and there's a little bit of C plus plus there as well. Um, well, I can maybe a lot, but it the, the core stuff is it, the, the heavy duty computers all in C, um, and uh, and so so we track that latency all the way to an output command to the um, drive unit to accelerate uh, the brakes just to slow down the steering, you know, turn left or right. Um, so, because you go to output a command, that's going to go to a controller, and like some of these controllers have an update frequency that's maybe uh, ten hertz or something like that, which is slow. That's like now you lose hundred milliseconds potentially. Hmm. So, um, so then we want to update the the drivers on the like say st steering and braking control to have um, more like a uh, hundred hertz instead of ten hertz. Then you get a ten milliseconds latency instead of hundred milliseconds worst case latency. And and actually, j jitter is more of a, a challenge than than, than latency because latency is like you can you can you can anticipate and predict. But if you're but if you've got a stack up of things going from the camera to the to the computer through then a, a series of other computers and finally to an actuator on the the car, mm -hmm. if you have a stack up of uh, of tolerances of timing tolerances, then you can have quite a variable latency, which is called jitter. And and that makes it a hard to 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 anticipate exactly what how you should turn the car or accelerate because you know if you got maybe a hundred fifty two hundred milliseconds of jitter then you could be off by you know up to point two seconds and this can make this could make a big difference uh, so you have to interpolate somehow to to to, to uh, deal with the effects of jitter so you, the, that you can make like robust well, control decisions. Yeah, then you have to. Uh, so the jitter is in the sensor information, or is it, the jitter can occur at any s stage in the pipeline. You can, if, if you have just if you have fixed latency, you can anticipate, um, and and uh, like say, okay, we know that uh, our information is, for argument's sake, 150 milliseconds stale. Okay. Uh, like so, for, for um, 150 for argument's sake, 150 milliseconds from photon taking camera to. Um, where you can measure a, a change in the acceleration of the vehicle. Um, so then, uh, then you can say, okay, well, we're going to enter. We, we know it's 140 milliseconds, so we're going to take that into account and, uh, and and compensate for that latency. However, if if you've got then 150 milliseconds of, of latency plus 100 milliseconds of jitter, that which could be anywhere from zero zero to 100 milliseconds on top. So so then your latency could be from. 150, 250 milliseconds. Now you've got 100 milliseconds that you don't know what to do with. And, and uh, it, that's basically random. So getting rid of jitter is extremely important. Hmm. And that affects your control decisions and all those kinds of things. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the car is just going to fundamentally maneuver better with lower jitter. Um, got it. And, and the, 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 the cars will maneuver with superhuman ability and reaction time much faster than a human. Um, I mean, I think over time, the it has, the autopilot full self driving will be capable of maneuvers that um you know uh you know are, are far more than what like James Bond could do in like the best movie type of thing that's exactly what I was imagining in my yeah. mind as you like, said it um it's like in, in, impossible maneuvers that a human couldn't do you know so